Multiple sclerosis, or MS, is thought to be an autoimmune condition. This means that the immune system attacks the body's own tissues, in the case of MS within the brain and spinal cord. A fatty layer called myelin surrounds the connecting wires of the central nervous system. This protects nerves and allows signals to travel quickly throughout the brain and up and down the spinal cord. In MS, this protective layer becomes damaged when the body's immune system mistakes the myelin for a foreign substance. When the myelin around a nerve becomes damaged, the signals being sent to and from the brain can get passed to the wrong place, become distorted, slow down, or not pass through at all. Well, there are over 100,000 people now in the UK with MS, and probably almost everyone is a little bit different. Um, and so people need to be treated differently. Um, some of the um, symptoms are um, inability to walk and loss of muscle power, um, sensation loss, arms and legs and face, the whole body, uh, hearing sometimes, eyesight's very common, it's a very common um, one that people start with and that's how mine started. I lost the sight of my left eye and um, things developed from there. Because I have MS, um, I obviously have a passion for helping other people. I've always been that way anyway, even before I worked here. My name is uh, Dr David Cottrell. I'm a consultant neurologist working at French Air Hospital, North Bristol Trust. I'm one of the consultants of an interest in multiple sclerosis who helped establish the Brahms charity, Bristol on Avon Multiple Sclerosis Charity, in 2008 with my colleagues. The charity has been very successful we raised over £250,000 initially for the refurbishment of some old laboratories to create the first MS centre of its kind in the UK. It's a small centre which allows us to see patients faster than we used to do and in a multidisciplinary setting. So it's almost like a one-stop shop. They can see the doctor, they can see the nurse, they can see the physio and we try and coordinate as much as possible. If they can't all be seen that day, they can be seen within a week. So. Otherwise, they'd be waiting weeks and weeks and weeks for intervention, unfortunately, because of the way that sort of waiting times are. People had to con um, contact their GP. The GP had to write to the neurologist. The neurologist had to fit you in when they could. But now it's a lot simpler. People can usually ring up and get into the centre of a treatment if they need it the same week. So it's made an awful lot of difference to people. It means that they don't have to stay in for days on end. They can go home the same day. So it's made a great difference, and I know that from my personal experience as well with MS. The Brahms charity has two main aims. The first aim is to promote research, local research, in particular the pioneering stem cell research of Professor Scovins, but also other pioneering new treatments to try and help symptoms of multiple sclerosis, but also to try and prevent or slow the progression of this devastating disease. Treating MS is only part of what the MS team accomplishes thanks to Brahms. Stem cell-based research is being undertaken to try and help prevent further damage caused by MS, as well as repairing damage that is already present in the nervous system. Over the past few years, a significant body of research has been completed in studying stem cells. The world's first clinical trial of mixed bone marrow cells was also conducted at French A Hospital the results of which reflected very positively on the research, encouraging future study. In recent years, disease-modifying drugs have been developed for the purpose of managing MS. While not a cure for MS, disease-modifying drugs can be used to suppress or alter the immune response. These, however, are not unfortunately suitable for all patients and can be troublesome or indeed in some cases harmful to take. There are, however, a number of other medical and physiotherapy treatments that can often help with MS symptoms. We've got various treatments, uh, predominantly they are available for patients with relapsed and remitting MS. Um, and they include injections, an oral tablet which has been clinically researched and brought to licence within our timescale that Brands Brand has been open and we're able to offer, start to offer that and any intravenous infusion such as steroids or, or a medication called Tysabri that we give at the moment, um, we're able to offer that. We um, have got dedicated MS nurses that understand the condition really well and can speak to patients that have got all different types of symptoms and things. Um, 
kind of physio that are able to, is able to understand the needs physio-wise that the person might require. My job at Brahms entails treating patients when they come to clinic or when they're referred to clinic. I would go through a full assessment looking at what the patient's needs are and then from that may um, provide a home exercise plan, um, sort of advice and information about the patient's problems so they understand what's going on with them, how they can make things better. I um, also would give them advice on returning to work or um, support at home. I do see newly diagnosed patients to actually see whether um, sort of as, as their diagnosis has come, whether they've got any symptoms that they've been managing and whether we can improve what they're able to do. So quite often patients may find that their walking isn't quite as good as it was and we can try and improve it and look at their muscle power and look at their balance and their coordination to actually improve their function. I help to organise events. Sometimes I organise my own events and get to people to help me. Uh, these can range from swimming, running events, um, anything sport really, uh, tennis, badminton, everything really that involves um, sport. Anything can be used as a way of raising money. Uh, we've had wine tasting evenings and set up big dinners for people and had big raffles. Uh, coffee mornings, there's a whole range of different events. People sometimes are too afraid to um, offer to raise funds because they think they're not raising enough. Um, 30 or 50 pounds from a coffee morning is good. Add up and as well as raising funds it makes more people aware of MS and might encourage the people who attended an event to organise one themselves. Um, we've got now we've got four MS specialist nurses, we never had that many at the beginning. Um, we've got a physiotherapist and we never had her then. Um, and so things have developed a lot. There's more patients that come here now, probably around 3,000. Total. I like the fact that there's a real variety of patients and um, we're able to make a real difference to patients. Quite often patients feel that um, they have to kind of continue with life as they are and many times we're actually able to improve what they're able to do by improving their muscle power, reducing compensations that they've had to try and function. They don't always need them so by improving their balance, their coordination, um, recalibrating their vestibular system, they're actually able to function at a much higher level and return to sort of activities in their life that they didn't think they were able to. So being part of that actually is a really good side of that. We desperately want to keep our level of resources as they are and if possible even expand them further to help our patients. So we're going to need to increase our funding to meet research costs as well as staffing costs. And we actually carried out a survey um, about 18 months ago, um, one of the doctors here carried out a survey, got a big group of the MS patients that come, and it was 99.9% .9 positive. If you'd like to donate, or you want to get involved with one of the fundraising events, visit www.brahms.org.uk and click Fundraising, or call 0117 340 6 Four nine zero. Brands, providing treatments now, pioneering research for the future.